everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a BoxyCharm video. I am super excited. I have been doing BoxyCharm for the last couple months and I have just decided now that um, after testing out BoxyCharm that I would actually try it out on camera for you guys. So far I have really been loving BoxyCharm. I was did Ipsy. I think it was last year for almost a year and it was okay it wasn't my favorite but I've always wanted to try BoxyCharm and I absolutely love it it's a subscription box for those who you have not heard of it before you pay $21 and you get over a hundred um, dollars worth of makeup so, um, and I think you get let's see like five products to this year or I mean the, you get five products every month um, this month I do actually have six in here so I wanted to go ahead and use the products on camera for you guys I'll kind of just skip through some of the steps that um, I don't have in here with my foundation and things like that I already do have my eyebrows on but let's go ahead and get started so each month the box has a theme this the theme is totally right here you get a little description card of each of your products so let's go ahead and start with my complexion. So first we have this from Wander Beauty. It's the Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil right here. This retails generally for $42. So you already, you know, get this paid off for in your box and it's over the amount you generally pay for, which is just, I don't know, mind blowing. And don't mind my nails, they're really gross. And also I did burn my hand today. So that's what I have a band day for. But anyway, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on the face. It's the face oil. Ooh, it's like really pinky. Has like a slight scent to it, maybe like rose hip or something. So this product it says here on the card that it's supposed to give you a bouncy, youthful complexion, no matter what skin type you have. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually go off camera and apply my foundation, and then I will be back to dig into the rest of these products in here. Okay, so I do have my foundation on, so let's go ahead. I have a Becca Hydro Mist Set and Refresh Setting Powder. Now, I have seen other reviews here on YouTube of this, and it's supposed to have a wet finish, which is so weird because it's a powder. So it's, you know, very fancy and very Becca-like. So I'm just gonna open it up. It says, keep me close to keep me cool. That's a little lift. Ooh. It has a very nice little like net in here to catch all of the powder. Let's go ahead and set underneath the eyes first. Oh my goodness, I just dumped some on my leg and it has like a wet finish. This is so weird. It literally feels like you're putting water on your face. This is so weird. How is this even a powder? Oh, it's like weird. This is weird. It literally feels like I'm running a wet brush on my face. This is so strange. I, I, I don't even like know how to explain this. This is such a weird consistency. Okay, like you can tell that this side is more matted where I put the powder and this side's more shiny, but it feels wet. Like, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some blush bronzer and some highlight real quick. Okay, so next I have some eye products here that I'm going to be using that they sent me, but first I'm just gonna go ahead and take my bronzer and just put it in the crease here for a transition shade. Okay, so the next two products, eye products are from Ace Beauty and they're the Glam Shimmer or Glam Glimmer Shadows. Wow, not speak. Here's what they look like here. Super fun colors. The pinkish one is called Huckleberry and then the silvery one is called French Vanilla. Let's go ahead and swatch both of these because I don't know what these, ooh. I feel it. Ooh. Okay, so here are the two colors here. This is French Vanilla and this is Huckleberry. They're both very pretty shades. So I'm gonna think I'm gonna take Huckleberry all over the lid. I'm just gonna use my finger and kind of press it on. Wow, that's really pretty. I don't think I have an eyeshadow color like this. These are kind of like the ColourPop Super Shock shadows. So then I think I'm gonna take this one here, French Vanilla, on a pencil brush. I'm gonna take this all the way under my lash line. I'm trying to be very careful and just like press it in so all the flecks of glitter don't go all over my face. Okay, next for our eyes we have a mascara. This is super fun. I've never tried this one before. This is from Tarte, the Big Ego Mascara, and it's a full size bottle in this and it's in the shade black. Oh my goodness, look at this tube. It's like a neon fluorescent hot pink. 
Okay, so let's open this up and see what the wand looks like. Ooh, ooh, this is the kind of wand that I like. Let's see what this does for us. The wand is kind of very large and I'm a little afraid of poking my eye out. So we'll try to avoid that as much as possible. So I just realized that I forgot to tell you guys what the price of the powder was and the eyeshadows. The Becca powder is $39 and then the eyeshadows are $25. So I mean, dang, these are expensive things. And you're only paying $21 a box. And then the mascara is $23. So guys, you are seriously getting a good deal. Okay, so for the last product here, we have a lip liner from Stevie Laurent. And this is in the shade Vogue. <laughs> I'm just come on, kind of style of Vogue. I have a Vogue poster on the wall over here. And it's probably, it's like a vintage poster. And I love it so freaking much. I think it's my favorite thing in the entire beauty room. And this is definitely um, child and hand approved because I cannot get this little plastic piece off it. Okay, so it is a wooden pencil. And it is going on very nicely. This is a really pretty, like a dark, dusty rose, I would say, color. And this retails for $15, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and put just some of this uh, lip colorish from L'Oreal. This is the shade Dazzling Doe. Yep, Dazzling Doe. Okay, everyone, this is the entire look using all the products I got in my BoxyCharm for the month of August. I had to think about what month it was for a second. But for most of all, the one that like, I don't know, took me by surprise the most was definitely this Becca, um, setting powder it was pretty crazy um but overall i liked everything that i got in the box and i will also i will also have a link to boxy charm down there for you as well if you want to go ahead and check out that description or subscription box i really have been enjoying it and i'm sure that you would enjoy it too so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and hit that subscribe button and then after you hit the subscribe button hit the little notification bell and it will notify you whenever I upload a video, which is every Friday. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.